welcome back to Tired for Comic. My name's Dorothy, and today we have today we have twelve books will, that will self destruct in twelve months. These are books that I've had on my shelf for eight or nine years, and they have been on my shelves. So I've kind of gone past them, picked other things up other than them, and I bought them. A lot of them, you know, part of series that I either don't want to read anymore or was wanting to read back then and have lost interest in a little bit now. So let's get to the books. First one up is Beneath the Glitter by Ellen Blair Fowler. This I picked up because I used to watch the author's YouTube channels. Um, I don't think either one of them do YouTube anymore, but we will see if I if I get to this. If not, I'll be get rid of this one and its sequel. Next is Ready Player One by Ernest Cline. I know a few years a few years ago this used to be very popular on BookTube, and I picked it up probably a little after the hype, and I just haven't picked it up. So if I don't pick it up this year, I'm gonna be getting rid of it along with. It's sequel as well. Lying Out Loud by Cody Keplinger. This one, I think I accidentally picked up this one before I picked up the Duff, and then I went back later and picked up the Duff and read it, and I haven't picked up this one since I read the Duff, which I think I only read the Duff last year, so it hasn't been that long since I've read the Duff, but this has been on my shelf for a long time, and if I don't read it this year, I'm probably gonna get rid of it. L.J. Smith's The Vampire Diaries, The Return, Volume 2, Shadow Soul. This one I have literally no interest in reading it. I read the first and third book. I read them out of order and I just kind of kind of fell out of love with the series a little bit and it's gotten very weird and strange as well. So another L.J. Smith series um, but this one's written by Aubrey Clark. Secret Circle, The Temptation. This is the final book in the series. Um, the first four was written by L.J. Smith and I really did like those and these kind of hit and miss and I kind of don't like how they're making our main character seem to be very flaky. So we'll see if I finish this. If I don't finish this, I'll get rid of this and then the other two books I have in the series that came before it. Horizon by Alice Noel. This is the final book in the Soul Seeker series. Um, I like the first two. The third one was kind of meh. So we'll see if I get to this one. If I don't, I'll probably get rid of it along with the um, sequels. Next book is After We Collide by Anna Todd. Now, I did enjoy it after. It was just an entertaining read. Now it is not very good writing nor is it a good relationship in this book. It's very toxic. So we'll see if I still like the series with the second one, second installment within the series. And if I don't like this one I'll get rid of them all. No reason to make myself force myself into reading them. But this one's probably a guaranteed read but I don't know. We'll see. Next is Dark Days by Kate Ormon. Ormon? I'm not sure how to pronounce the author's name, last name. I don't even remember what I said. I think I picked this up at Always for maybe two or three dollars. Um, at the time, the synopsis was intriguing. I have since forgotten what this book is even about. So we'll see if I pick it up. If I don't, I'll get rid of it. Same situation. I probably picked this up at Always. Um, the Eternal Ones by Kristen Miller. I probably picked it up because the synopsis was interesting to me and since then I've forgotten what this is about. So we'll see. If I pick it up, I'll see if I like it. If I don't pick it up, I'll get rid of it. Dark Lovers by J.R. Ward. Um, this one I picked up on one of the first few days I went with my husband. We went to a thrift store and I picked up this one and another book that's in here and I haven't picked them up. I was intrigued with this um, series back in the day as it had something to do with vampires. I haven't picked it up. I haven't even gone for it. So I don't pick it up this year. I'll just say I'm not interested in it anymore and just go from there. This is another the same book from the same trip with my husband. I picked this up because I've seen the movie and I really did enjoy the movie Caroline Moon but we'll see if, if I pick it up. If I don't I'll just get rid of it. This one I forget what what's it's about. It's Temptus by Julie Cross. I'm not sure what this is about. I think I picked it up in my like antsy toxic romance kind of read. I was reading Beautiful Disaster and Walking Disaster but I couldn't tell you what this is about. I will say the cover is intriguing but I don't know if I'll get to it or not this year. If I don't I'll be getting rid of it. With that said that's all the books I have for this video. I'll leave a list of all the books down below along with my Goodreads, Instagram, and blog. With that said have a wonderful day. Read what you love. Bye!